All right. Uh, acting Khartoum Premier Banyazade Sufi is expected to visit patients wounded uh, during the shooting incidents in Marvel and Newtown in Johannesburg in the early hours of New Year's Day. Two women were killed and uh, six others wounded during a drive-by shooting outside a restaurant in Marvel. Hours uh, later, 11 people were wounded at Mary Fitzgerald Square in Newtown. It's believed that the shooter fired several shots uh, from the upper level of the M2 double-decker bridge onto the crowds. No arrests have uh, been made as yet. Last night, Melville residents held a candlelight uh, vigil outside uh, the restaurant. Uh, for more on uh, the story, we're joined by SABC reporter Hasina Gori. Hasina, we understand that uh, you are then stationed at uh, Helen Joseph, and those are some of the live uh, visuals there. Uh, we understand that the acting premier has, in fact, uh, arrived at, um, at the hospital. Tell us what's uh, going on currently at uh, Helen Joseph. We do see that Panyas Ali Sufi has arrived. Um, from, yes, as you can see the visuals that you're seeing right now, we're at Helen Joseph Hospital uh, where the Premier, um, Acting Premier Panyaza Lusuki as uh, the MEC for uh, Community Safety as well as the MEC for Health are uh, all uh, here at the hospital. They've just had a briefing um, with uh, the uh, police as well as with the health officials uh, just uh, getting an update on the status of those um, that are still injured in hospital. From what we understand, um, uh, three patients are still here at Helen Joseph Hospital. Uh, one was released this morning. Um, they are are going to brief us more on the conditions and the status of these patients as uh, they go on that walkabout. They're just on the way to the wards right now um, where um, they will be meeting with the families as well as uh, the patients. We also know that they will be meeting with uh, the family of one of the deceased. They said the other has already left the area so they're unable uh, to meet with that uh, family. Uh, but um, that's basically what's uh, been expected for today. Are we hearing anything at this point about uh, the condition of the gentleman that we understand had actually been uh, shot in uh, the head but didn't, uh, but didn't die? Um, of course, that was the rumor that uh, there was a third person who had in fact died from uh, the Melville shooting. But of course, police were very quick uh, to tell us that in fact the, the number does remain at two. Um, but of course, we certainly need an update on uh, the condition of uh, the gentleman who had actually been shot in the head. What, what are we hearing at this, at this point? Right now, if you heard the MEC just a few moments telling the media that they would answer more in-depth questions on the conditions um, after the walkabout, they just left for that. Um, they've just had two briefings. They spoke with law enforcement as well as uh, with the health officials. Um, what we do know is that um, there are three patients still here, and they will give us a full update in um, a few moments once they've done a meeting with them. All right, Asina, let's catch up with you later on when you do have uh, all that uh, information for us. Appreciate uh, your time there, and uh, certainly we'll be crossing to you uh, later on. That's our reporter, uh, Hasina Gori, who is at uh, the Helen Joseph Hospital right here, uh, in fact, in uh, Auckland Park, where we just saw the acting premier of Gauteng, uh, Banyazari Sufi, arriving there to check on uh, the state of uh, those who were injured at uh, that Melville shooting and um, We'll get you an update uh, later on in the bulletin.